who it is. It's me. Half fast. 719. Okay, finally got a day off. Worked 14 days straight. Overtime every night, everywhere. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I got a lot of stuff I got to do. Um, I told them I was off this weekend. I got too much junk to do. Um, yeah, uh, I, I don't know where to even start. <clears throat> Let's just start with uh, tranny service. So I printed out the instructions for this 2011-2015 uh, eight-speed. It's an ASIN, ASIN transmission. Um, these parts, bleh parts, whatever it is. Um, I bought filter. Let's see. Everything was two hundred and eighty-nine bucks. So let's just call it three hundred bucks. Nine quarts of oil, drain plug washer, a sticker, um, an oil pan gasket, and a filter. So they shipped it out really quick. Um, I think I showed you guys in another video the parts for it, the filter, oil, whatever. Um, so I'm going to do that this morning. I just have my phone charging. This whatever Android phone charging. Um, so while that's charging, because I have to check the temperature through the computer. Because I can't reach a certain temperature. Yada, yada, whatever, whatever. Um, purchase some rope from the Harbor Freight. Get to why I bought that in a second. Um, bought this little Japanese style double edge saw because uh, I'll get to that in a second. Um, I bought this compressor drain kit so it automatically drains the air compressor. Like, uh, I think once it gets to like 150 psi or whatever it is, it, it squirts off water from the bottom. Uh, as a tank, so I bought that because I watched a couple videos of uh, I don't know if they're really known YouTubers, um, but anyway, they uh, their air compressor tanks exploded, and uh, yeah, it was like a little bomb. Anyway, so I wanted to do that before mine gets too bad. Um, I bought this gear oil fluid pump just in case my little hillbilly redneck things not gonna work which is a Hudson sprayer or a weed sprayer I'm gonna put the fluid in the weed sprayer pump it up build pressure um, I bought a bunch of fittings and a valve from the Harbor Freight and a little gauge I guess I don't really know um, yeah Oh, also found this snap-on screwdriver too. Pretty dope. Found it. So, um, yeah, got a lot of stuff that came in. Uh, I bought some motor oil for the truck because I can't seem to find motor oil and filters at Walmart anymore. They're always out of stock. So I bought three filters because uh, Advanced Auto Parts was having a sale. 15% off or whatever of your purchase over 50 bucks so I bought four oil filters and something else I don't remember um, my kid bought me these dope they blow Ulsa tools out of the water I think the K is silent so it's Nipix made in the Hermony so it's, it's an adjustable channel lock without teeth so it's like a adjustable wrench you push this boot in down and you slide it to whatever you want and I don't know if you can see inside there it, it tells you 17 millimeter 12 millimeter 22 millimeter it goes all the way up to oh man hold on hold on I gotta slide it that looks like it says 46 52 millimeter, supposedly. It's 
so 52 millimeter and then unlike also tools they have a standard on the other side half inch five eighths three quarter but anyway so metric and standard um but yeah kid bought those surprised me he said to open a box and those were in there kind of cool um yeah, I have parts to hopefully fix my coolant leak in the Audi 2, or also, um, this is a EGR gasket or O-ring thing. They messed up and they sent me an intake gasket. Um, I called the guy. He said, oh, I put that in there so you'd call me because I didn't know what you wanted. I was like, well, I gave you the part number. Anyway, it was from... Uh, Volkswagen Ontario Volkswagen so let's see so this is what we got so this part the o-ring and o-ring this is the top of the EGR gasket um, this o-ring they said it was separate but it actually comes with one installed so this is a coolant shutoff valve or a coolant bypass valve, whatever you want to call it. It's vacuum controlled. Um, and I believe where it's leaking is right, <clears throat> right here, right at this joint where this, where this opens and closes. Um, from what I can tell, it's leaking. It's leaking right in here. So hopefully... Hopefully that's the issue. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get to. So I had that coming. I'm not doing that this weekend. That's a lot of work to get to that part. Um, but anyway, those are upcoming projects. Also in the box down here. Um, oh man. In that box. Throw this stuff in here. So I might be using that intake manifold gasket because you do have to take the intake manifold off. I have a mess. I have some gear oil I bought. Um, everywhere I looked, even the local store by me, they're selling this for 27 to 34 bucks a piece. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys. Oh, that's a dance auto. Actually, I don't have the receipt for that. Um... But I believe I only paid about eleven dollars a quart for this stuff. I paid eleven bucks a quart. I wonder where the box is. I don't know. Maybe it's in here. Um, but yeah, pretty. Yeah, so I bought it from Auto Haas Arizona, and I paid. It doesn't. It doesn't even. Show show how much I paid um yeah I don't know it's not on here um but like I said I think I only paid like 11 bucks for it and I bought some additive too also some uh MOS2 anti-friction for gears um it's molly treatment so I'm gonna put half the bottle in the front and half the bottle in the rear um, so that's what I'm doing today, this morning. Uh, I'm going to drain the tranny fluid and everything. Let it all drain. While it's draining, I'm going to change and drain the, uh, the diffs. Front, front and rear diffs. So I'm going to try to do videos of it. Um, I don't know how, that, how well that's going to go. Sorry, this video is getting pretty long. Um, but this is the oil I bought. Ended up getting this oil for... I want to say it was 49 or $52 for three gallons. So I bought three of them, three, three gallons. So I got nine gallons. So usually I buy the two and a half gallon from Walmart. Um, two and a half gallons is 10 quarts. So since this is three gallons, four eight twelve twelve quarts so this is a basically an oil change so i got three oil changes for my truck because i did change the oil in my truck and uh hit about 4500 miles 
and oil still clean. That's why I recommend those getting Mopar. Maybe I should stop recommending to get the Mopar oil filters because they're always out of stock. Um, but yeah, also uh, my hubs. Uh, this is going to be an all over video, guys. It's just bear with it. Bear with it. The Ram Man. So, I don't really want to take it off, but this whole piece right here, this whole inside, this is a Ford hub. So this whole piece just popped off, just shot out. Um, I was pulling uh, the trailer over here because I put all this gravel in, so I tried moving the trailer, and I was spinning the rear tires in this gravel stuff. So I put it in four low to pull it. And it started to go and then just popped. And this uh, cover just shot out. Maybe I'll show you guys. So you can see it's not on. I can't even spin it. Oh, man. So. Uh, there we go. So as you can see, this little there's a little metal tang right there. See that one's broken, that one's broken, and that one's there. So we have this little metal tang here. It's broken and broken. Anyway, nothing else broke. It's just those and the seals obviously shot. So I reached out. I reached out to the Ram Man. And I said, more mo tabs, mo better. <laughs> so they were going to send me a new set under warranty, and I told them that I wanted to upgrade to the mall marker, and they said, okay, it's going to be $200. $200, but because of the inconvenience, they're going to knock 100 bucks off, so it's going to be $200, bucks, or 100 bucks. I, th I think so. 200 bucks, 100 bucks. And I said, okay, do you have any other companies? I said, do you sell Warren? And she said, yeah, we just started doing the Warren lockers so it's the warren premium black edition they're selling them on their website as an upgrade for 450 bucks um and everywhere else i looked because it's a ford hub but i think they have to machine it for my axle and uh that adapter that's in there they charge extra money so i think they charge an extra 75 bucks for the little gear that's in there um Everywhere else I can find them, like eBay, whatever. Um, without the machined piece, it's 388. I think the lowest I found was 349. Um, but yeah, so uh, they ended up selling them to me for 350 for the upgrade. So I decided to go with them. They said that there was another company from Australia that they really recommend, and I said, well, it's gonna be hard to get parts if something happens. I'd rather get Warren. Um, this way I can just get parts locally and swap that little gear in, in and out. But yeah, definitely if you buy those hubs, upgrade. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you why I bought all the other the rope and junk. So that tree up there, that whole branch right there, folded over on top of my roof. My roof didn't do any damage because... It just folded over and like flopped on it. We had uh, 80 mile an hour winds. So every day after work, all last week, um, I basically was just coming home, coming home and chainsawing wood, cutting stuff. I got my chainsaw crap all out. Oh, also, highly recommend getting some of this stuff. This premix in a can. This is manufactured by VP, so VP Racing Gas. Highly recommend this. Um, so it's there. They say that they use a uh, hundred hundred octane in this stuff. Um, that says right there, minimum octane rating is ninety. So that's their minimum that they put in. <clears throat> so you get at Walmart, auto parts stores. Definitely, definitely recommend getting this stuff instead of trying to pre-mix your own fuel. My 
chainsaws fired right up, stayed running the whole time, no bogging. Definitely get some of that stuff. Um, but yeah, had the wood wood chipper out for a whole day, every every day after work, just cutting and going, cutting and going. But anyway, I'm wore out, I'm beat. I gotta get to this Audi. Um, yeah, so I don't even know. Stay tuned for the next video where I get under there and start making a mess. I gotta build some tools. I gotta figure out this pumper, this pump sprayer thing. See if that's gonna work. I gotta clean it out. <clears throat> Make sure it's completely dry. And, uh, yeah, I gotta go get a drain pan. Anyway, I'm gonna get started. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for sticking in. Got a lot of crap coming. Um, and, uh, yeah, just, just busy with work. Kid's busy with work, too. He's working more hours than I am. Um, but, yeah. All right, guys, I got to start cracking the whip. We'll see you guys on the next video later.